Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So since the Choco Tacos got discontinued, today I'm gonna be sharing with you how easy it is to make them at home so you don't miss out on this delicious treat. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to begin by making our waffle cone mixture. In a bowl, we're going to add one cup of all-purpose flour and three quarters of a cup of sugar. To that, we're going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And now we're just going to mix it and set it to the side. For our wet ingredients, we're going to need two egg whites and make sure that they are at room temperature. And one whole egg. To that, we're going to add one third of a cup of unsalted melted butter. three tablespoons of milk, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And now we're just going to whisk. Okay, so once we have that, now we're going to mix it with our dry ingredients. So just add it in and mix. Okay, so as we have our batter, now we are ready to make our taco shells. So we're going to begin by allowing our waffle cone maker to heat up. So just connect it. And if you don't have one, you can also make it in the skillet. Okay, so once our waffle maker is nice and hot, we're going to open it and we're going to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. Okay, now we're going to grab our batter. So I'm grabbing about two tablespoons. Place it in the center, close it, and allow it to cook for a minute and just give it its time. Okay, so once it's done, we're going to open it. And I'm going to flip it over just because my waffle maker doesn't cook evenly. And I'm just going to give it a couple more seconds. Okay, so after a couple seconds, we're going to carefully get our waffle. We're going to be using a wooden spoon. Place our waffle on top of it. And we're going to shape it into our taco shell. Use gloves if you need to because it is hot. So just be careful. Just hold it down. And once we have reached our desired shape, I'm going to flip it over, get our wooden spoon out, and now we're just going to place it in our taco shell holder. And we're just going to repeat the process until we no longer have any more batter. Okay, so once we have our waffle shells, now we are ready for the fun part. Okay, so now for this step, we're going to need some magic shell chocolate fudge and a brush. So we're going to grab our taco shell and we're going to coat the inside with our chocolate fudge. So just add a thin layer and brush it. Okay, make sure that it's evenly nice and coated. Okay, just like that. Now we're going to place it back into our taco stand and repeat the process to all of our taco shells. And this is a fun activity if you have kids, so they can all help you. Okay, so as we have our taco shells all nice and coated with our fudge on the inside, now we're going to place them in our freezer and allow the fudge to harden. Okay, so while we wait for our fudge to harden, we're going to get our ice cream out, and I'm gonna be using some fudge swirl, but of course you can use your favorite ice cream. Okay, so after 10 minutes, our shells are ready, so now we are ready to scoop in our ice cream. Okay, so we're going to scoop our ice cream. And we're going to fill in our taco shell. And make sure that you smooth it out. Okay, so once it looks just like that, we're going to place it back into our taco stand and we're going to repeat the same process to all of our taco shells. Okay, so as we have them filled with our ice cream, now we're going to place them back into the freezer and allow them to chill for about 15 minutes. Okay guys, so it's been 30 minutes since we put our ice cream in the freezer, and uh, we're going to keep them in there. Meanwhile, we make our chocolate coating. I'm going to be using chocolate chips, but of course you can also use chocolate melts. So I'm going to use a whole bag. 
Make sure that you put them in a container long enough to fit your, ta your taco. And onto that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of coconut oil. Okay, so now I'm just going to place it in the microwave. Okay, so after the minute, we're just going to check on our chocolate chips. Mix it around. Okay, so I'm going to put it back in the microwave for 30 seconds. So let the chocolate chips can continue melting. Okay, so after 30 seconds, we're going to get it out, mix it again, and at this point, the chocolate chips have completely melted. So now we're going to add two ounces of chopped peanuts. Okay, so just mix it. Make sure that the peanuts are completely coated. Okay, so now we are ready to dip our tacos. We're going to grab our taco and we're going to dip it into our chocolate. Just like that. And we're going to top it with some more peanuts. Okay, okay repeat the process. And we're going to place them back into the freezer. Repeat the same process to all of your tacos. Alrighty guys, and after 10 minutes, our choco tacos are ready to be enjoyed. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys, if you are a choco taco lover like myself, then you know you're not gonna be disappointed that they're discontinued because you can now make them at home. So cheers and enjoy. Mmm. Honestly, so much better. Mm-hmm. They're nice and crunchy. And the best part is that you can add as much as you want. If you love peanuts, you can add even more. So good. Mmm. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how easy it is to make some delicious choco tacos. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.